Hi, this is Russell Sunner from teachertrainingvideos.com. Today I'm going to show you three different ways of adding pictures into your Google Forms, particularly the third uh, way that I'm going to show you, which is to add pictures into multiple choice questions so that you can actually have one, two, three and have a different picture for each one. A lot of teachers don't realize you can do this. This is a really quick video. Let's get straight into it. Adding pictures into your Google Forms. Okay, so we're logged into Google. We're going to come over to our Google Apps. We click on the Apps. We come down to our Google Drive. From the Google Drive, you want to click on New. And then what you want to do is click on More and Google Forms. Now, I tend to choose to use a blank form. First thing you want to do is always give your Google Form a title. I'll write the title in here, and I'm just going to call it Google Forms and Pictures because all we're gonna to do today is look at the different ways that you can actually add pictures into your Google Forms. So I'm just gonna do that. And I think I'm right in saying, if I click here, it will grab this title and add it, yes. All right, so it's a nice little trick to remember. Right, we're off and ready now to start to look at three ways that we can add questions with pictures, etc., in our Google Forms. Okay, so we can put a little description in here. This shows three examples of using pictures in Google Forms. Right, let's get started. First one we're going to do is, and just for, this is a nice little tip, if you click here, so you've got this uh, at the moment is the selected object. If I click on picture here, then the picture will immediately go underneath. So what I'm going to do here is just upload a picture from my computer. So just click on there and grab a picture. Now, if I remember right, if I click back, I've got some pictures of some maps that I can use. And yes, good. And we'll just do that. So we're going to put here a map of Spain. Click on open and we will then be able to select one in fact it would just as you in fact you can see it just opens on the screen so what I've done now is use this one here and it will it well whatever you've selected it will add the picture immediately underneath so when I use this way of using Google Forms uh, or pictures in Google Forms I always say look at the image and uh, answer the question or questions below because remember this you've just put the, the image up on its own uh, doing it this way there it the question will be underneath in the next object remember there's always a question on the screen by default so remember that if you decide to use this way of adding pictures then you will need to sort of instruct the user that the question is underneath the picture um, it's just a little detail but something I've noticed you can delete your picture here you can duplicate your picture here I think you've got a couple of uh, uh, settings here um, that is really it and then we'll add a question here so I'm going to say what uh, is the capital of this country okay or what is the capital of Spain let's just write that and then we could offer a couple of options so just click here Barcelona and let's write Madrid and then finally let's write Seville Okay, so we've put our three options and that way we've done our first question. Now we're gonna add a second question. We're gonna do this one slightly differently. So we're just gonna, again, make sure that we've got this area selected. We'll put that as number one, just so that we clearly see the questions that we've got on the screen. I'm gonna add a plus button now. And this time, if you roll over the question and then notice that we're working here again with a multiple choice question, you'll see that you do have the choice to add the picture here. Now, what's the difference between this and this? Well, here, the picture's gonna be added, but you'll also be adding the question all into the same object. Rather, here, what you've actually got is two separate objects. First of all, the picture, then the question. So, what I'm gonna do here is click again. We'll use exactly the same images just to make life easy. Uh, so, we upload an image, and this time we'll use the picture of Italy, and I'm gonna just put that there. And then I'm going to put the question and I'm going to say, name this country. And notice, because I use the question, name this country, Google Forms kind of guessed that I want to use short answer. So it's jumped over to short answer. So this time the user actually writes their answer in. So before we use multiple choice, 
and this time we use short answer. So notice also that I don't have to add an extra object, the, the verb, or, sorry, the verb, the picture and the answer or the space to write the answer is all provided in the same object. Okay, so that's the second way. Now the third way is perhaps the nicest and um, uh, let's again make sure that we got this object selected so that we can add underneath we're going to click on plus now when we click on plus again it's going to do, say well what type of question is this going to be and I'm going to do this time I'm going to change it to drop down because I think it will work with drop down let me just double check Ah, maybe it doesn't and that, that's quite useful I'm going to show you that you let's have a look at if it works with multiple choice yes it does I can see add a question or sorry add a picture at the end of the question so I can add the picture at the top of the question which is what we just did here I can also add the question separately but in a multiple choice question I can also add the question at the end now just out of interest can I do that with any other type let's have a look at checkboxes does it work with checkboxes yes it does so let's let's uh, choose this one so I'm going to write here the question which one is correct so simple as that which one is correct then we'll put so what I'm going to do is I'm going to write the name of the country here. So I'm going to click on Spain. I'm going to write Spain. And then I'm going to click here. And I'm going to choose a picture. But we'll choose the wrong picture. We'll take up a picture of France. Okay. So that's the first one done. Uh, we'll then do a second one. And oh, this time we're going to do Italy. And we'll make this one the correct one. So we'll click and grab an image of Italy. So I'm just going to grab that from here. Okay, obviously there are other ways of accessing images as you can see by the URL, etc. Um, but I'm just showing you that obviously the simplest way which is to upload a, an image from your computer. And the last one I'm going to say is going to do France. And again, I'll make a mistake and I'll use uh, an image from another country. Let's do Italy again. So this time, as you can see, if we now uh, look at this question we've got small images and we've got to make our choices here so we're finished we've done three different ways of adding pictures to uh, a Google form uh, when you add a picture from your computer so just to make the point if I click here and add a fourth selection and click here remember I do have other ways including just copying in the URL or your album as well which will show basically previous pictures that you've uploaded um, I think this is related to all your Google tools. Um, so you've got uh, different ways of accessing images. Obviously what we've been doing is just simply uploading from our computer. Now finally what I want to do is let's have a look at the quiz. So to do that what we need to do is share the link and what we'll do to make this easy is I'm going to share that link here, I'm going to make it shorter. I'm going to open it now as if I was a student doing that exercise. So I'm going to imagine now that I'm a student, so I'm just going to copy that link. I'm now going to open up my browser, paste the link in as if I was a student, so I'm kind of logging on on another system. Here is our lovely quiz with a title. And the first one, what is the capital of Spain? So we're going to choose Madrid. Second one here, name this country, and we're going to write Italy. And then the third one, uh, which is correct, and we're going to say this one is correct. Okay, now obviously this the way that I've set this up doesn't uh, actually um, check the work, so you'd have to look at the results, look at the answers, and I submit that. Uh, notice also just one very small mistake, not that it matters, but I'm uh, just going to come back and show you this. What I should have done is just deleted that last option, because notice I'd clicked in to choose a last option, then I've not used it, so just click there. Now where can you access your answers? Well, they're always here, responses, and you can click there and see exactly what uh, responses you received. That's how easy it is to use uh, pictures in Google Forms. It's really nice, uh, obviously makes them more lively, more interesting. We often use the first way of creating uh, pictures as a way actually of making the presentation more decorative as well as obviously using it to add pictures. Sometimes it's to create a banner, etc. Um, but I wanted to show you all different, uh, three different ways of doing it. Thank you very much. Hi, this is Russell Stanner from teachertrainingvideos.com. Lots more free content on teachertrainingvideos.com if you want to visit the site. Uh, there's no more annoying sign up window anymore. If you do want to sign up to my newsletter, it's here on the right hand side and you're welcome to do that. You'll get all the latest updates. 
The tools are here at the top of the screen, so this mainly focuses on tools, and then the special sections are here, and we'll be adding a few more here as well. Whenever you access anything, so let's take for example that you decided you wanted to look at the top 12 videos, all you need to do is choose a video that you want to watch, click on it, and then you'll be able to watch the video and obviously it's a good idea to watch the videos full screen. Uh, very popular sections are the top 12 videos and Russell's five minute blog which just has five minute videos about different technologies that we can use in our teaching and learning. If you really like uh, the content then please follow me on YouTube as I add lots of videos onto YouTube that you won't find on the website. Thank you very much.